Number three, we're finding the product. This time we're multiplying two binomials. So I take the first term in the first binomial and I'm going to multiply it by both of the terms here. So I'm just going to rewrite q minus 11. And then I'm going to take the second term, minus 8, and I also need to multiply that by both terms in the second binomial. So see how you split the first one, q minus 8, and then you write the second one twice. And now it's set up to do the distributive property. So q times q is q squared. Remember, we, how many do we have total when we multiply? q times negative 11. We write the negative 11 first and then the q. Negative 8 and q. When we multiply, we just stick those together. Negative 8 times negative 11 is positive 88. So we're not done yet. We need to look for like terms. So like terms are same variable, same exponent. So the q squared, there's not any other q squareds. So that doesn't have a like term. But both of these have a q. So we're going to combine those. And now we're using our subtraction rules. So negative 11 minus 8 is negative 19. And then we just stay with one q. So it's different from multiplying, and then plus 88. That would be our answer because there's no more like terms to combine.